Hi, I'm Ryan with the Accidental Overlander. The rookie overlander who is proving that is, is not the size of your experience, but how you use it. And today, I got a new tent. It is very reminiscent of a very popular tent that is out there right now. I'm just say it, they're sleeping in a gazelle tent. And which, you know, right now, are probably the most popular tent out there. They set up quick, they, you know, they do everything that you needed to do. This tent looks exactly like a gazelle tent. It's called a Cuomo top tent. And it looks exactly like it, as far as I can tell. I've never owned one, but from the pictures, it looked just like it. And then having it set up, it seems to be pretty sturdy. The only difference is the price tag. From what I can see on Amazon, when I bought this, this was around $250. So it is around half the price of one of those top main name brands. So we are gonna go over my initial thoughts on it. Obviously I haven't been able to take it out or anything yet, but we'll go over my initial thoughts on it. We'll do, a, do setting it up and taking it down and then we'll work from there. Hope this helps you out. It could uh, save you a little bit of money. I'm gonna let you guys know, I did already set this thing up once because usually with my limited experience, it takes me quite a while to get things the first time. Nobody wants to watch me setting up a tent for freaking 10, 15 minutes. So I didn't even feel my first time, but this thing was super easy to set up. I probably set it up in, you know, a minute or two the first time of me doing it. While I would always practice in your backyard first before taking it out on a trip, this one surprised me with the first time I set it up. It was very easy, so I am happy about that. So hopefully I don't make any mistakes the second time because I've been known to do that too. But either way, let's get it set up so I can show you guys. It is not a super light tent. You don't have that to worry about. Just kind of open it up. And find a wall and try to pull it. With my last one, the first time I set it up, it was the last wall that was the hardest to open. So yeah, if you kind of set your shins up on the bottom of the tent, hold the top, and then just pull. Ugh. That usually works, or that worked for me. Let's see if this last one gives me trouble again. That wasn't too bad. We just gotta find a door. And then we go right in the middle and pop up, pop up the ceiling. Alright. So the next step will be the rain fly. On a day like today, it's not not impossible. I could see on a windy day by myself, this thing could give me some troubles, but that's not something we have to worry about right now. So either way, let's try to get this rain fly on in a timely manner also. I'll do my best. These hooks are gonna align with the hooks on the wall. If you had two people, this job would be very easy. That did not go as planned, but that's all right. And it'll work. There's little loops in here. They just stick these poles right in.
and the pulleys will just flip out. And then you just take the hooks and attach them to the other hooks that's uh, basically what you pulled out to bring the wall up in the first place. And there you have it. She's all set up. I didn't set my sundial or anything, but it didn't take that long, and that was for me. So either I'm getting better, or this thing is insanely easy to set up. I'm gonna go with this thing is insanely easy to set up too. Let me uh, tell you my initial thoughts from having it for 10 whole seconds. Right off the bat, I do love the size of this thing. It comes with a little attic, which I actually like because the attic has a hook for a light. And not only does it have a hook, it has two hooks. So you can't set it up upside down and then be like, oh man, that sucks. It also has two storage pockets that seem very well made and very beefy. Just from standing in here, I like the headspace you get. And I think it'll fit the whole family, which is easy for me to say now with it being empty and all that stuff. Cause I know as soon as we start getting sleeping pads and sleeping bags and our bags and things like that, the room goes away very quickly. But I still think we can all sleep in here comfortably and it should keep us a little warmer than the Coleman that we have. The only thing that I don't like about it off the very initial thing, like even once you get it down in the bag, it is long. So just storing it is going to be a problem. You're not just gonna be able to throw it in the trunk because odds are it's gonna be too long to fit in your trunk. The materials in the tent, just the walls and the siding seem pretty legit. They're pretty thick. The zippers, they're way better zippers than what I'm used to. So they are nice. There is obviously a ton of windows even these can turn into windows, but then you have to roll the rain fly up. So there is that. But even without that, you have, you know, two windows on each wall. Also comes with two doors, which will be nice when, especially when the whole family's in here. So depending on where you're sleeping, you can just kind of get up and get out and I won't have to step over or on somebody else. They have also already taped they have taped the seams and the stitching, which this is the first tent that I've actually seen the stitching be taped. So I was very excited when I got inside and saw that because I've seen it on YouTube, but I've never seen it in real life. So I was super happy when I opened this up and I saw the seams on the floor and on the side already be taped. Initial reactions on this tent is I love it. It'll be, I can use it on my solo trips and I can use it with the whole family. And that, that's a win-win for me. Granted, I have to get it out in the field, so I don't want to speak too highly of it yet and then go out somewhere and then have it leak like a sieve or blow away or something crazy like that. So I'll have another better, more in-depth review after I use it for six months or a year. This tent is looking nice so far and I am excited to have it. There are a couple things with this tent that might bug me in a little bit that I've noticed within the first three minutes of me being in there. First, there are a couple pieces of the stitching that are coming off or not stitched right in that I've, you know, snipped off with my knife so far. Nothing, nothing major or anything like that. One door is awesome, works completely fine. And the other door works completely fine, but where the wall comes out, there's poles. The pole is almost in the way of the zipper of the door, which isn't impossible to open the door, isn't impossible to close the door or the screen on the door or anything, but it does get in the way a little bit, which, so if I have to nitpick, that's what I'm gonna say probably bugs me the most is that the wall is getting in the way of this one door. Yeah, let's see how easy it is to take this thing down and put it in a bag. Get the rain fly off first. Fly. I'll go fold this on my own time. So I took the attic down. I'll probably just put the attic in one of these 
awesome storage pockets. That way I don't have to worry about that. We're just gonna grab this hoop and pull it down. Ooh. If it's your first time pulling down one of those roofs like that, I would imagine even in any tent like this, watch your head, because that thing comes down fast, faster than I then thought. Then we're just gonna push in all these walls, which I'm sure is somewhat easy until we get to the last one, but let's find out for sure. All right, last one, last one. Oh, that wasn't even too bad. Ugh. I actually pulled it down way easier than I thought it would. Now you got these two little cheap straps. So yeah, what I'd probably do is go buy like a buckle strap or a Velcro strap that I can just put around this and Velcro because I don't want to tie stuff. They've also provided you with a massive bag. Man, that wasn't too bad at all. Now I still have to get the rain fly in, but yeah. For, for that being the first time, that wasn't bad. So that is gonna be it with my initial thoughts on this Cuomo top tent. I hope this helped you with the setup and the takedown or even a nice, having a nice look on the inside. I hope this helped you out. If you were looking at this and wanting to save a little bit of scratch rather than buying the super expensive one, which I'm sure they are great. That is why they are as expensive as they are. But this, this just gives us another option. I'm always looking for tents and new gear and stuff like that. So if this helped you out making a decision, give this video a like. Make sure to keep watching because I will definitely be taking this tent out on my next camping trip so we can see how it works. So you might even wanna give me a follow too you never know. And just remember, it doesn't take a lot of experience to get out there and go camping. You just got to go do it. And we will see you next time.